Kicking off a new year right, the first action clash of 2023. And it's the Tag Team Championships on the line in the opening match as Infrared are champions for 273 days, defending against BDSM. As always, Carmen and Michael joined by Ryan Grisham here exclusively on Pro Wrestling TV. And it has been a long time coming. BDSM has wanted this opportunity, has fought for it for so long and now finally getting their chance to get their hands on the new South Tag Team Champions. Dave going for that test of strength early. Logan James managed to get out but not for long. Big Dave with a wrist lock. Logan James rolls through. The taunting, the back and forth, the talk has all been very big. Big Dave has sworn, Carmen, that BDSM will not leave the Golden Ape CrossFit gym unless they are draped in gold. Well, it really felt like, oh. <laughs> It really felt like Anniversary 7 was their night, like everything was in their favor, but Infrared managed to retain. And then of course, they were supposed to battle again. Oh, oh. thought you were going for a pinfall, but no. And of course, we were supposed to have this match at the Dunk Sanders Holiday Special, but Logan James medically ineligible to compete. Oh. And here we go. A little delayed, but the first action clash of 2023. I don't know a better way to start oh. off. A few more of those, and Hogan James won't be medically cleared to do much of anything. Logan James may be drinking all of his <laughs> meals through a straw if it's up to oh. Big Dave. Do you see the delay on that? Excellent tag team chemistry here from the upstarts. Oh! oh. They may be rookies, but these two have captured the hearts of the New South faithful like no, like none other. These two have managed to, uh, <laughs> pun intended, to become best friends in such a short period of time. Meanwhile, Infrared wanting no uh -oh. part of this. 
Infrared. Infrared exercising their uh, championship champions, advantage. Yeah. Champions advantage here. Whatever Tyler Matrix has planned, it's probably not going to end well for anybody. You know, I wasn't entirely sure that Infrared was really ducking BDSM like Big Dave has been saying. But right now, um, I mean, there's, there's plausibility to it. I mean, as great as Infrared are and as dominant tag team champions as they've been. We're not. I think I'd be hesitant to step in the ring with an it's angry tip. Big Dave. Uh-oh. Could this be? It's a count out. So here are your winners by count out. BDSM. But still, your new South Tag Team Champions. Infrared. Well, Infrared decided they'd had enough of this match. But the music. BDSM, I know you didn't come here for some count out. Oh, no. None of that, baby. We want the whole thing to do We're in Decatur, Alabama. We're in the Golden Age Gym. And I feel like in honor of Harambe in the sky. Just like that, this match is back on. General Manager Dump Sanders laying down the law, saying that Infrared is not going to just walk away. But like it or not, and I guarantee Infrared does not like it, the match restarted. And right now, the momentum is all in the favor of Big Dave's security and management. Damn! Oh. Laying out Tyler Matrix with a massive chop. BDSM came in hot. They were ready to Matrix. win tag team gold. And Notice how Matrix had enough of the eyes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Matrix, the crafty, vicious leader of infrared. Dave sent to the outside. Trying to fight off Logan James. Logan sends the leg back in. Oh, oh, the injured leg of Big Dave. Injured for, leg, maybe more, maybe more injured now. For those unaware, the Doc Sanders Holiday Special, oh. Big Dave suffering a minor fracture in that leg. Not sure how wise it was for him to compete tonight, but that's just how much the Tag Team Championships mean to him Big, and to positively. Big Dave was fired up and ready to go into this match with everything he had, but now Logan Infrared. James using the ropes here at the CrossFit gym, tying up Big Dave. Infrared targeting Big Dave's injured leg. Oh! oh! Using his environment to his advantage, and you hear the screams of pain from Big Dave. Big Dave is in a world of hurt here, already working injured. That fracture to his shin. And look at the face of Lee who seems oh. unsure if he can go this alone without his best friend. Lee is definitely more concerned about Big Dave than anything else right now. Big, Big Dave is hurt bad. There's no way Big Dave can carry on with this match, but what what is Lee? It, Carmen, is Lee telling referee Allison to keep this match going? Lee's well, going it alone. It's a handicap match at this point. Lee positively has decided to take the reins and face down Infrared by himself. I don't, is, I don't know if it's bravery or stupidity, but either way, there's still a chance. Well, whatever it is, Lee certainly believes, and he's not going to let BDSM's dreams die just like that. He's being swarmed right now by both members of Infrared. Referee finally imposing some order here, but it doesn't, made. it doesn't change the fact that Lee is now on his own against the dominant New South Tag Team Champions, Infrared. And they say one is the loneliest number, Ryan. 
loneliest number. It's probably also the most painful. Well, right now I can guarantee it. It's Tyler Matrix pulls Lee up. Snapmare takeover. Oh, calling for calling for silence. Oh, oh, a penalty kick right to the back of Lee. Poor Lee is completely at infrared's mercy right now. But he has just so much heart. Lee, absolutely one of the most lovable people you will ever meet. Can total sweetheart, but can positivity prevail here? Is Lee, you see that Tyler Matrix just got in the corner of Big Dave, pretending to be Dave to lure Lee in. Tyler Matrix thought he could impersonate Dave, but Lee knows Dave better than anyone and is not going to have it. Oh, oh, big that one chop from Logan James. That one was just a thud across the chest. Now, infrared just taunting and having the time of their lives. Oh, oh. beautiful drop kick sends Lee crashing to the mat. Absolutely picture perfect. And Logan James not taking Lee seriously at all here. And if this doesn't show heart and passion, I don't know what does. Lee desperately fighting to keep BDSM's dreams of New South Tag Team Gold alive. Going it alone for not only himself, but for his best friend. He knows how much these tag team titles mean to Big Dave, and I'm sure they mean a lot to Lee too, but right now, oh, the power of Tyler Matrix. There's always a chance, and I want to believe, but right now, with the numbers advantage, and somehow Lee know. kicks out. Lee getting a little cheeky there. And of course, the winners of this match will go on to that GCW versus New South show. Facing off tag champions against tag champions. And right now, it is not looking good for BDSM. Lee is certainly seems to be Nope, maybe he's not fading. He fights his way to his feet. And now throwing some elbows to try to get Logan James off of him. But Lee is just at a severe disadvantage here. Logan James. Oh, oh, caught! Back body drop from Lee. We've seen Lee in some desperate situations before and he's managed to fight out. You've gotta make a move, Lee. Come on, Lee. Oh no, could this... I was worried about this, Carmen. Could Lee be lost without the guidance of Big Dave here? It's a certain possibility. Oh, speaking oh. of which, Dave! Maybe against his better judgment. Dave. Against referee discretion here. Dave angrily trying to fight his way back to the ring. But maybe causing just enough of a distraction here. Logan James not even looking at Lee. Not paying attention. Lee has his opening Lee, here. A, oh, oh my God, Lee! Lee with the low blow! This could be his chance! Logan James is wiped out just like that. We are back to square one. The playing field is even. As Dave makes his way back to the corner. Lee trying broadly to get to his feet. Tagging in an injured big Dave. Dave back in! Oh. How steady is he going to be on that injured leg? Of course, planting for that double axe handle, wiping out Logan James, but at what cost? What kind of pain must Big Dave be fighting through right now? And Dave going for the pin, but can he cinch it in with enough pressure? No, no, no. The injured leg, Dave can't, couldn't get the leverage to make the pin stick. And you see him grabbing that leg. Dave calling for Lee to get back in the ring here. Doing whatever it costs to win those New South Tag Team Championships. The meteoric rise of BDSM is really something that is unlike anything. Well, since the body what? shop. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Trying to, trying to send them into. Oh, go, go slow. Hits the injured leg of Big Dave. And even with Big Dave at his side, 
As the big man's not at 100%, BDSM is still at a major disadvantage. Uh oh, positive lead with a tombstone pile driver on the veteran. Folks, this is it. We've got new tactic. No. Oh. No. Logan James just barely managing to get back in the ring and shove Positive Lee out of the pin. As God is my witness, I thought we had new tag team champions here in Decatur, Alabama, but no. It certainly looked that way, and what a way to start off 2023 that would have been with BDSM, the ultimate Cinderella story. And now, battling through the trenches. Positive Lee has been beaten nearly senseless. Big Dave is fighting through the agony of a fractured leg. And Infrared are certainly not having the night that they planned on. You mentioned it there. Lee following the advice of, of Dave. Uh-oh. Dave rolled up the single leg Boston Crab. He may have no choice but to tap. It's the worst hole Dave could possibly be in. Absolutely heartbreaking, no! Heartbreaking loss. Here are your winners, and it's still New South Tag Team Champions, Infrared. Heartbreaking defeat here for BDSM. They were even closer than they were last time, Ryan. BDSM was within a hair's breadth of becoming New South Tag Team Champions. Oh, but laying boots to BDSM after the match, come on, why? Infrared just continuing this beating of BDSM. No, 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 not the chair, not the chair. Not Dave's leg. What is this? Akuto Death Society making the save. Saving BDSM. BDSM spared from further attack by the reformed Akuto Death Society. Calling for the mic. We'll see what Chris Crunk has to say about this situation. Is that the way you guys want to operate? Is that what you guys want to do? An explosive start to the first action clash of 2023. 
BDSM not quite capturing those tag team championships, but ADS making the save. And in two weeks' time, we will see ADS versus Infrared. It's been made official. As always, I'm Carmen Michael, joined by Ryan Grisham. And Ryan, I hear that we caught up earlier today with Stunt Marshall. Oh, yeah, and he had some things to say. Let's head to it. Hunter Drake. You think after last time, you would have learned your lesson by messing with me. But I guess you are hard-headed, and I'm going to have to beat some sense into you. You want another rematch? You got it. Hunter Drake, tonight, I am going to peel you apart. I am going to break you down. I am going to tear you limb for limb. And after I'm done with you, and you go home to your family, and they're all sad because they see the twinkle gone from your eye. Hunter Drake, you made a mistake, and that mistake is hate. Second match of the night at New South Pro Wrestling Action Clash Level Up. We've got three straight weeks of Level Up. What a great way to kick off 2023 here on Pro Wrestling TV. And speaking of kicking off this match between Thibodeau and Brennan Cole. Thibodeau's going to be looking to kick off the head of Brennan Cole. Oh, definitely. No, not quite sure what Brennan Cole is thinking 
going up against a member of the nest. Thibodeau going for the pinfall. The Green Street Posse oh. already making themselves seen. Indeed, Brennan Cole has his boys at his back and maybe that's all he needs to get one over on the nest. Well, you know, you hear a lot, new year, new me. That's something that, you know, very common phrase, but it's something that Brennan Cole is really, uh, really living this year ever since being fired by Marcus Dillon right before the Winter Wars Rumble. Joining forces with the Green Street Posse. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't need a new me. This one's just fine. <laughs> you know, you remind me of someone who used to sit here. I can't put my finger on it. Uh-oh. The Green Street Posse got a few licks in on Thibodeau while the referee was distracted with Brennan Cole. Oh, Brennan Cole's very happy with himself here. Well, a, a win over Thibodeau would be a pretty significant notch in Brennan Cole's belt right now. Well, anything to get on a winning streak. Oh! Of course, the entire reason Marcus Dillon fired him. Oh, hook the leg. The oh. entire reason he was fired from the investment was because he... Poor Let's performance. be honest, he, he was, he's on quite the losing streak. Indeed. We'll, we'll call it poor performance. Well, after his performance review, Brennan Cole is looking to use that as fuel and use what he learned from the, uh, the offices of, of the investment Marcus Dillon. And putting it to use here as the Green Street Posse behind the ref's back just laying it into Thibodeau. Once again, getting a few extra licks in to help out Brennan Cole. Brennan Cole. With a drive-by. Oh. Brennan Cole taking a bit of a leadership role here, trying to coach up his boys a little bit, saying this is how you get things done from the mean green streets of Huntsville, Alabama. Of course, speaking of Huntsville, you know, next week, a week from tonight, January 21st, oh. GCW coming to Huntsville, the Von Braun Center. Of course, we're happy to partner with them. And the very next night, GCW versus New South live on Fight Plus. Only $4.99 to subscribe. Watch the show live from the comfort of your home or oh. be there live in Florence. And if you want a joint show, you couldn't ask for a better one there. The best of New South Pro Wrestling oh. against the best of GCW. And of course, we know we're going to see Effie and Alley Catch and Nick Gage. Jordan Oliver, Tony Deppen. It's going to be quite the card. Oh, it's going to be a star-studded night as New South goes up against GCW in a joint show, and it's all leading up to the Haas Tournament. The best damn tournament in the South. We might e could even see some GCW faces at the Haas Tournament. That's a great possibility. There might be a... Ooh. There may be a chance for some, uh, <laughs> some Haas qualifying matches, perhaps. Ooh, absolutely, that would be great. But right now, Thibodeau is trying to get some energy going here. He just can't seem to flip the switch and get an advantage over Brennan Cole with the Green Street Posse oh. helping him. These are two people here. You know, if they start to build oh. the momentum now, they really rack up wins. These are two people we could possibly see in Haas next year, oh. given the right circumstances. And look at the wherewithal of Thibodeau getting his foot on the rope to break that pin up, not wasting any energy with a kick out there. Oh, jawbreaker from Thibodeau. And now Thibodeau is finally on the offense. Connects to that boot, <laughs> and Brennan Cole is absolutely rocked. He's had... <laughs> He, can, he can't quite take it as well as he can dish it out, can he? But here comes Thibodeau. Oh, Thibodeau over the top rope. Wipes out everybody. Lord have mercy. Thibodeau is just on fire now. He has woken up and has had enough of the antics of the Green Street Posse. Whoa. Oh. Into the lariat. Some quick footwork put Thibodeau into position there. And <laughs> Brennan Cole Here is seeing goes. stars, folks. Uh, it's always terrifying to see the lanky Thibodeau go to the top rope. 
But Brennan trying to get out of range here. Oh, oh way there. too far away. Did you see that? Sucker punch by the Green Street Posse. At, wait a second. Anthony making himself Mighty useful here. Oh, Brennan Cole with the win! Here is your winner, the Huntsville Hooligan, Brennan Cole! Utilizing those dirty tactics, but Brennan Cole starting off the new year with a victory. Definitely calling shenanigans, and now the Green Street Posse trying to lay the boots to Thibodeau. Just continuing this Green Street Posse down. just laying the boots, laying waste to Thibodeau. Trying to make some kind of a statement here. Wait a oh, second. The brother of Thibodeau, the other half of the nest, Brax, making his way, not even from the locker room, he came, he came from the parking lot. Has he, he been watching through the window this whole time? He must have teleported in. But Brax has had enough of what has been done to Thibodeau. And now the Green Street Posse may have found themselves well, riding off more than they could chew. They definitely don't seem as confident now. Oh, oh, turned inside out. Brax is not having it tonight. The Green Street Posse thought they could, oh, Just take it, wiped out. get an advantage with some shenanigans. Oh, wait a second. The nest laying waste to the Green Street Posse here. That is not where you want to be. Oh. Big frog smash from Thibodeau. Getting some revenge. And it is the nest who will stand tall. Well, Brennan Cole picking up that elusive first victory. But unfortunately for him, the numbers advantage did not last long as the nest is back in full form. And if you want to be in your full form, might I recommend some official New South merchandise? And where can you get that, Ryan? You get that at Pro Wrestling Tees slash New South Pro Wrestling. Let's pitch to it right now. Wrestling fans, are you ready? Because on Sunday, January 22nd, in Florence, Alabama, at the Singing River Brewery, for the first time ever, live on Fight Plus, the stars of New South Pro Wrestling will face off against the stars of GCW. Sunday, January 22nd. Tickets are still available. Please be sure to check social media for more details. Way 
It is main event time, just like that. The first action clash of 2023 here in the lovely Decatur, Alabama. Stunt, Marshall, and Hunter Drake, part two. Of course, these two face off at our last action clash, the Dump Sanders Holiday Special. Yep. And Hunter Drake was not very happy with how things ended, now was he? Nope. Hunter Drake did not get the result he was planning for that night at the hands of Stunt Marshall. And now, I mean, call it what you want, but Stunt Marshall hooked the rope. He, yeah, he did. There's no denying that, but on the record books, a win is a win, and now Hunter Drake is looking to get a little bit of retribution. Hunter Drake, oh. arm drag. What a big, strong boy Hunter Drake is. Pound for pound, the strongest professional wrestler in the South. Here we go, locking up once again, collar and elbow, lock up. Stunt Marshall with the side headlock. Just drilling it in, taking control of this match early like he did at the Dump Sanders Holiday Special. Oh, look at the vertical leap of Hunter Drake, but not enough caught by Stunt Marshall. The power of Stunt. Oh. Deep arm drag once again. Notice he holds onto that arm, hooks it deep. Hunter is using his knee to add a little bit of leverage, just driving that hold in, putting all the pressure on Stunt's elbow and shoulder. A little bit of added aggression, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. And if, if what had happened to Hunter Drake happened to anyone else, I'm sure they'd empathize with him getting a little more aggressive with Stunt Marshall. Oh, Stunt Marshall misses with that splash. Hunter Drake. Oh! Had to recalibrate there, but connected with that forearm strike. And the hateful one is a little perplexed to find himself on the back foot for a second. Hunter now sent into that turnbuckle. Oh! oh! And that was a hateful chop, if there ever was one. Toward the skin, right off the chest of Beamer Boy. Now Stunt Marshall going to work. Oh, oh, misses with that diving back elbow. Hunter Drake is just so quick and agile. Oh. And Drake with a little payback there. Here we gotta take a little walk around <laughs> Decatur here. Oh. oh. 
He's gonna have to do it with one eye. Indeed, the stunt. Basement Lariat. Oh, kick out though, only at one. Hunter Drake looking for a chop at every stop, but <laughs> Stunt decided to get off the bus a little early. Uh-oh. Oh, ah, oh, oh. now look at the, just look at the joint manipulation. Mocking Hunter Drake and mocking the fans here in attendance in Decatur. Again, standing room only oh. here at the Decatur, <laughs> the uh, Golden Ape CrossFit Gym here in Decatur, Alabama. Of course, the home of the oh. New South Academy. Indeed. And, oh. Oh. Stunt. Thought he had him. Oh, brings him up. Uh-oh. Caught in the wheelbarrow. Hunter Drake sends him up and over. Dutchelaria comes in and... Oh! And this is the pace right here that Hunter Drake absolutely excels. Absolutely. This... Fast pace, hard hitting offense is what Hunter Drake wants to maintain throughout the match. These are the deep waters that Hunter Drake is trying to drag oh. Stunt Marshall in. But the hate wonder of the world is not to be taken lightly. Stunt Marshall, a competitor we don't see a ton of, but every time he shows up on New South, he goes the extra length to win. Well, again, I know we, we've talked oh. about it multiple times oh. tonight, but heading into Haas season, a victory here means more oh. than ever. Hunter Drake looking to avenge his year in Haas last year, of course. One of the favorites to win Haas 2022, eliminated in the first round by Alec Price. A, la a laundry list to pay back for Hunter Drake. Well, right now, caught in the he's electric chair. focused on Stunt Marshall. And his face oh. connected with the actual turnbuckle itself. To see the extension on that suplex. Stunt Marshall. Trying to figure out how, what it's gonna take to put Hunter Drake away this time. He's certainly not gonna fall for the same old tricks. Choking the life out of Hunter Drake here. And here comes Hate Hogan. Oh, just driving Hunter's throat into that rope. Stunt now pretty firmly in control of things, but Hunter Drake showing some life, fighting back. Oh! Ducks the Enzi and plants his boot in Hunter Drake's back. Has him hooked. Sends him off the ropes. Building some momentum. Oh, the extra momentum. All sent right into that German suplex. Oh, but Hunter manages to kick out. Stunt Marshall not very pleased with the performance of our referee so far. Uh-oh. That's an impact wrestling official. I'm, she is great at her job. You tell that to Stunt. <laughs> He's the one who doesn't seem convinced I, as he I lays the boots in Hunter Drake in the corner. I don't take him as much as a listener. <laughs> Probably not. He certainly isn't oh. listening to the pleas of the fans here. As Hunter Drake fires back. Oh! And that's all it takes, one big stomp from Stunt Marshall. Oh! oh. A reverse suplex! Hooks both legs! He just folded Hunter Drake in half and somehow, somehow Hunter, Hunter found a way to kick out. Still able to kick out with some energy too, but now Stunt locking in that headlock. Trying to drive his muscles into Hunter Drake's windpipe. Beamer Boy firing up though, trying to feed off the energy of this crowd here. The crowd getting behind Hunter. Oh, and just like that, he's shut down again. You can feel that energy being sucked out of the room just like that. It's, it's Stunt Marshall's favorite thing to do. Oh! How can any one person channel that much hate? 
These two know each other so well. Stunt makes his way to his feet. He's still a little groggy from being slammed to the mat. Charges in. Stunt rolls through. Hooks him again. Oh, that stalling. Look at the power. The delayed oh. vertical suplex, and he maintains control. He's going for another one. Release suplex that time. Oh, and just not enough to put Hunter Drake away. Stunt Marshall is absolutely firing on all cylinders here tonight. Oh, Stunt is in rare form. Again, it's that, it's that hot season in there, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Both these men want to be in the heart of the Southern 16 tournament this year. Heading into Haas, you know every competitor is going to push it as far as they can and try to secure their spot in the biggest, most prestigious tournament in Southern professional wrestling. Oh, Otto Drake sent right in. Stunt. Stunt. Oh, 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 looking no, no, for no. some real estate here. The suplex to the outside. Oh, no. no. Hunter Drake, Hunter Drake held on. Hunter Pulled Drake. Stunt Marshall to the outside. Took Stunt Marshall out to the outside of the ring with him. And now both men laid out on the floor. Hunter Drake said, if I'm going, you're going <laughs> with me. You're taking a trip with me, buddy. And I don't but know who got the worst of that. Hard to tell from here, but it looks like Beamer Boy is fighting his way to his feet now. But both men back to a vertical base and now slugging it out on the outside of the ring. Up, oh, Hunter! Oh. Cat-like agility. Took the words right out of my mouth, Ryan. And now Stunt making his way up to the ring apron. Precarious position. Oh. In dangerous waters now as Hunter Drake lays the blows in. Rocking Stunt Marshall on his feet. Oh! Drop kick into the double foot stomp. Sending Stunt Marshall crashing down to the hardest part of the ring. And now, full steam ahead. Oh! Suicide dive from the Beamer boy. Hunter Drake goes flying once again. There is none quite like Hunter Drake here. Oh! Punch his card because Hunter Drake is going to rack up the frequent flyer miles this year. Oh, big boot. And now, Dragon Suplex. Stunt Marshall crashing on his neck and no. Oh. But Hunter Drake hangs on. And now into the Dragon Sleeper. Trying Look. to keep Stunt Marshall under control here. Notice Hunter with his other arm reached behind, hooking his fingers, interlocking them. Pulling it cantilevering, pulling in opposite directions to add leverage. But speaking of leverage, Stunt able to m make his way to his feet from that awkward Man position. Oh, thought he was going for another reverse suplex, but no, has him in fireman's carry position. Oh, oh. Sit right to the wasteland. Or the hate lands, perhaps. The hate lands, I like definitely. That. I like that. Only a two count. If there's anybody who's the king of the hate lands, it is the hate wonder of the world, Stunt Marshall. Both competitors. Absolutely oh. exhausted here. But Stunt declaring that this is gonna be it for Hunter Drake. Hooks the waist, going for a power bomb, but Hunter, Hunter fights out. Hunter trying. Oh, lands on his feet. Nope. With the reversal. Big insecurity and Stunt Marshall is rot. Stunt is unsteady on his feet. Hunter driving his shoulder into his abdomen. No. Code oh. red! Code red from Hunter Drake and I thought it was it, but no. So close to a three count. But Hunter Drake gonna carry that momentum. Hunter Drake going up to the top, perhaps going for that purple haze 450. But Stunt Marshall. Distracted the right now! Just push referee Allison Lee into the ropes. And Hunter Drake comes off worse, falling to the top rope, and now in perfect position for stunt. Oh. Stunt Marshall wins again. 
Love it or, well, hate it. <laughs> Stunt Marshall picking up another win over Hunter Drake. And let's put, at this point, Stunt Marshall may just have Hunter's number. It certainly looks that way. Dirty tactics or not, Stunt Marshall is up 2 0 on Hunter Drake as we go into 2023, heading into Haas season.